welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at how you can start to put in arm balances and inversions into your flows. So I'm going to take you through a maybe 10-15 minute flow, we'll see how it goes. Um, popping those arm balance in, building strength. Don't worry if you can't quite get the arm balance there yet. Um, the key is just have a play around, see what feels good, play about on the hands. And yeah, if you haven't warmed up yet, if you're not yet warm, then I suggest doing a little warm up video to begin. I'll pop a link in the info bar below just to get into the muscles, get the muscles warm, begin to move through the wrists, the joints, the ankles. So when you're ready, roll out your mat. We got started in child's pose. So big toes to connect. Bring a nice gap between the knees and then walk the hands forward. Just settling down here, forehead to the earth, beginning to connect to the breath. Inhales, exhales, in and out through the nose. Taking a moment to ground and release. Softening the shoulders a little bit, but still keeping everything really nice and active here. And finding space. Connecting to your breath, connecting to this moment, allowing your mind to quieten. And then when you're ready on your next inhale, round up to a tabletop. Go ahead and tuck the toes, send the sit bones up and back to downward facing dog. Maybe take a moment just to walk out your down dog, breathing into the backs of the legs, the hamstrings, finding space. And then go ahead and gaze forwards in between the hands. Soften the knees and take a big step or a little hop up to the top of the mat. Lengthen the spine, inhale, and then we'll fold forwards, exhale. Inhale, rising all the way up to stand. Connect the palm. And then exhale, bring the hands down into the heart space. Feet together, knees together, thighs together. On your next inhale, bend the knees, sink the sit bones down for your chair pose. Take a nice deep breath in to lift up. And then on your next exhale, we'll find a twist. Left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, palms work towards the heart space. And then inhale back through centre. Exhale, take that twist to the opposite side, right elbow to the outside of the left thigh, palms working towards the heart space. And then inhale back through centre, back to your chair. On your next exhale, fold forwards, but grab the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, and then we'll toe heel the feet out a little bit as you bring the hands up and over the crown of the head. It's a nice little shoulder stretch. Breathing here. And then go ahead and bring the hands down to the earth, toe heel the feet out, and then should be down through the hips so you find a yogic squat. Hands can come to the heart center if that works well for you. Spine long, drawing down through the tailbone but lifting up through the heart. And then go ahead and find a twist, left hand comes down to the earth, Right hand sweeps up towards the sky. And then inhale back to centre. Right hand comes down to the earth. Left hand sweeps up towards the sky. And then inhale back to centre. Bring both hands down to the mat. You want your hands kind of like rock climbers, as if you're digging your fingers into wet sand. We'll come into a crow pose here. So you can do this one of two ways. You grip the knees to the upper arms and take a little bit of a rock forwards and back. That's quite a good way to have a play around if you're new to crow. Or you can bring the knees nice and high towards the armpits. Float the feet up, keep pushing the mat away, rounding the upper back, lifting up through the hips. If you feel confident, maybe a little jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale to your upward facing dog. And then exhale to a downward facing dog. And we'll just meet in down dog if uh, the little jump back doesn't work for you today. That's totally fine. Take a nice deep breath in. Sweep the right leg up and back. 
Exhale, stepping the right foot forwards in between the hands. Ground down through the left fingertips, sweep the right hand up towards the sky. And then we'll inhale back to centre, come all the way up to stand, and then exhale, open up to a warrior two. Take a really nice deep breath in, coming all the way up. And then easy exhale, soften. Two more times, big inhale. Easy exhale, soften. One more time, big inhale. Easy exhale, soften. Turn the right palm over, sweep it back. Inhale back to your warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the inside of the right foot. Walk the hands to the back of the mat, rainbow warrior here. So you bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. Maybe the right hand comes up towards the sky. Release the hand back down to the earth. Walk the hands all the way forwards. Pivot on the toes so they face towards the front of the room. Ground down through the palms. Step back to your high plank pose. You can choose chaturanga or drop your knees down first. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Take a really nice deep breath in through the nose. And then a big exhale. <sighs> Inhale, gaze forwards in between the hands. Bend the knees, hop or step, top of the mat. Lengthen the spine, inhale. Folding forwards, exhale. Inhale, rising all the way up to stand. Connect the palms. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, bend the knees, sink the sit bones down, chair pose. On your next exhale, find a twist, left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, palms work towards the heart space. So you can either stay here, or you bring the hands down, create a little shelf with the left upper arm um, for, your, for your legs, shift the weight forwards into the hands, and then float the feet up. Maybe they come out to the side. You come back to your chair when you're already struggling with space. And then you take it to the other side. So right elbow to the outside of the left thigh, palms work towards the heart space. Either staying there or opening the arms up wide. Either staying there or hands come down to the mat. Big twist. You create a shelf with that right upper arm. Shift the weight into the hands. Maybe float the legs out to the side. Come out the same way you went in. We'll meet back in your chair pose. And then exhale, fold, interlace the fingers. Hands come up and over. Feet about hip width apart, maybe a little bit of a, a shimmy or a sway, side to side. And then exhale, release the hands down to the mat. We will step back to a high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, or you drop your knees down first. Inhale to your up dog or your cobra. And then exhale, roll them over the toes, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in, lift the left leg up and back. And then exhale, step the left foot forwards in between the hands. Ground down through the right fingertips, left hand sweeps up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Inhale, sweep the hands up so you come into your high lunge and then exhale, open up to your warrior two. Take a nice deep breath in, coming all the way up. And then easy exhale, soften. Inhaling, coming all the way up. And then easy exhale, soften. One last time, big inhale. Easy exhale, soften. Turn the left palm over, nice big reverse. You can straighten that left leg if it feels good, or you can keep a bend in the knee. Inhale back through your warrior two, windmill the hands down to the inside of the left foot, walk the hands to the back of the mat, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg. And again, either staying here, or you sweep that left hand up towards the sky. Release the hand down, crawl the fingertips forward, pivot on the toes, pivot on the feet. We'll ground down through the palms and step back to a high plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga or drop your knees first. Inhale to your up dog or your cobra. And then exhale to your downward facing dog. Take a really nice deep breath in. And a 
really nice deep breath out. <sighs> On your next exhale, drop down to the knees. Bring the hands behind you, interlace the fingers. Inhale, open up through the heart. We're going to come into headstand here. I'll pop a video down below if you're not sure how to enter into headstand so it breaks it down for you a little bit better. It's a tripod or bound, your choice. I'm going to work with bounds, so that's what I'm going to guide you through. Bring the head down to the mat. Push the mat away through the forearms. Tuck the toes and then bring the feet in. Lift the left leg up and then begin to engage the core as you bring both legs up towards the sky. Flex the toes, keep pushing them out away through the arms. And we'll split the legs, bring the right leg down first, and then the left. Widen out the knees, come down to a child's pose. So we'll do one more headstand, this time we'll bring the opposite leg up first, so for me that's my right. So tuck the toes, push the mat away through the forearms, lift the right leg up, maybe the left leg follows. Again, keep pushing the mat away, extending out through the balls of the feet, breathing. And then slowly come down. Child's pose, maybe bring the hands towards the feet this time. Soften down through the head and the neck and just let the shoulders really drop down to the earth. back underneath the shoulders, come up to a tabletop position, inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, exhale, round the shoulders, tuck the chin, twice more, big inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the heart, exhale, rounding the shoulders, tucking the chin, one more time, big inhale, easy exhale, and then go ahead and tuck the toes. Come back to down facing dog. Go ahead and walk the hands back towards the feet so you come into a forward fold at the back of the mat. Allow yourself to hang heavy, bend the knees, grab for opposite elbows. A little sway side to side. Release the hands down to the earth. And then inhale, slowly rolling all the way up to stand. Stacking one vertebrae on top of the other, crown of the head, and the chin comes up fast. Sweep the hands up towards the sky. Connect the palms, exhale, bring the hands down to the heart space. Take a moment, close the eyes. Acknowledging your practice today. Acknowledging the fact that you made space for your body to move and flow. And then bowing the head down to the hands. Namaste. I hope that you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Like I said, I will pop some links in the info bar below with those little arm balances and the headstand tutorial down there so you can practice at your own pace. Feel free to press pause at any time. This is just a little flow that shows you how you can start to incorporate those um, more intermediate advanced poses, I use that loosely, um, into your practice, into your flows. And the main thing is to have fun, so natural movement, breathe, and yeah. I will see you next week for the final two videos of the Find Your Freedom Flow yoga video series. Please do give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. There'll be a link after this outro. And I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.